Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, we've known for a long time, since the SARS outbreak, that long-term care homes are vulnerable settings for respiratory disease. Viruses are not a mysterious, invisible intruder. They can be managed Order. with proactive and effective IPAC. The government's own commission investigating heard that the long-term care homes were forgotten in the initial provincial plans to control the spread of COVID-19 until residents started dying. And please that this not be repeated when this crisis is over. We are now in the throes of the second wave. Tragically, this month alone, over 250 residents in long-term care have sadly died from COVID-19. Yet the commission that this government created to report on how COVID-19 spread in long-term care settings has reported that the government is withholding the documents it needs to do its work. Question. Speaker, through you, why is this government impeding the work of the commission by withholding requested documents? Is it because they are afraid of what they might find? Through the Environment, Conservation and Parks will come to order. The response? The Minister of Long-Term Care. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the member opposite for the question. It's absolutely our commitment as a government to be transparent, and that's why we created uh, the process by which the independent commissioners will report. This is uh, uh, absolutely essential that we get to the bottom of what happened, and we've been consistently transparent. We've provided almost 48,000 records to the Commission, and we have conducted over a dozen briefings, 17 to be exact, uh, to the commissioners. Uh, they have a publicly uh, posted site where they can uh, provide uh, communication um, to the public and where people can submit um, uh, their stories and their concerns. Uh, they have issued interim recommendations. And I will repeat, we are in a battle of our lifetime against COVID-19 all around this world. And if the member opposite does not understand that a virus is invisible, Response. then I would hope that you would educate yourself. Uh, please, please inform yourself. It's absolutely critical that you understand the science and the nature of COVID-19 and how it spread. Thank you. The supplementary question. Uh, speaker, you know, this minister, one of the things that I've been listening to you, because I was the one that asked Order. in March, March 11th, about long-term care. No word from this government on what you're going to do to protect those residents. To over 2,300 people in long-term care are now dead as a result of your government's refusal to act. Now, in your own appointed commission, Order. this commission was appointed by you to give answers to people who have lost their loved ones, like in my riding in Extended Care Guildwood and in Seven Oaks. They deserve to know what went wrong. No one needs your lecture. That's not what we're here to do. What we're here to do Response. is to answer the questions that the people of Ontario are asking you. Why are you withholding these documents? It is the commission that says that they need them. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And again, I'll remind members to make their comments through the chair. Minister of Long-Term Care to reply. Thank you, Speaker. Again, I will reiterate that we created an independent commission to provide guidance and get to the bottom of this. Nothing matters more than understanding what else can be done as the world uh, struggles with COVID-19. Across Canada, they are struggling with COVID-19. COVID-19 is an invisible intruder that gets into our homes. One case can be devastating. And the commissioners, I appreciate uh, their expertise. I have a great deal of respect for their, their credentials, and they are eminently respected. Uh, we are making sure that this process is transparent. We are allowing uh, the commissioners to gather this information, to hear from residents in a very public way, and, and, their, and staff and, and their families. This matters Response. a great deal. I have been a family doctor for 30 years. I've been understanding the science of this since the, the earliest days, and I will continue to take every measure and every tool possible. Thank you. Thank you much. The next question, member for Niagara Falls. Thank you, Mr.